Hi, my name is Leah Day, and welcome to this video for the Free Motion Quilting Project. Today we're working on a variation of the design called Puzzle Maze. And this is called Garden Maze, and it's basically the exact same design, only this time we're stitching it up with straight lines and sharp angles. So let's get on the machine and see how this works in free motion. So here's my square, and it's all ready to go, and I'm basically just going to break down this space with straight lines. This is a foundational design, so we first break up the space running straight lines kind of all over the place. And this can be triangle shapes, this can be squares, you can have everything be really irregular. It's totally up to you. How these design, how these lines lay out, you could kind of plan them from the beginning or, you know, just let them kind of be freeform the way I'm stitching them. So I'm going to break this up one more time. And I kind of, generally all of my shapes are kind of triangles, but they don't have to be. Um, it's really nice to have a variety of different shapes going on. It really makes it more interesting. But this is going to look excellent, no matter what shapes you've got. And the foundation really makes it easy because it breaks everything up. So it's nice and um, secure. Your quilt is already secure with all of those breakdown lines. And it's also easy to kind of figure out where you're doing and where you're going next. So the rest of the design is simply traveling into each of these shapes, whether they're triangles or uh, oddly shaped uh, rectangles or whatever they are. You're going to stitch inside of it and uh, stitch a closed spiral. Basically what that means is I'm going to stitch inside with more straight lines and sharp angles and I'm echoing the shape that I've created. And it's a closed spiral. So I'm stitching in here and I'm using up all of the space. I'm really just echoing and echoing and echoing all the way into the center. And this is nice because it really provides a lot of practice for echo quilting. And then we're going to get a lot of practice for travel stitching next because in order to get back out of the spiral, you've got to travel stitch. So very slowly and carefully, I'm going to travel stitch my way out. Just trying to stay right on that line, but you know if you stitch off, it's no big deal. Just working my way out of that design all the way back to the beginning. And if you find that you just really can't travel stitch when you know it's pointing away from you, if you're sideways or whatever, just rotate your piece. Working in a small block allows you to rotate a considerable amount and it's not a big pain. So that's the basic idea behind Garden Maze. You're going to break down your space first with some straight lines and then go inside of the shapes that you create and stitch a closed spiral, working your way inside with lots of echo quilting and all the way back out with lots of travel stitching. So that's it for Garden Maze and here's what it looks like after I finished quilting it. So you can see there's a lot going on with this design, a lot of echo quilting, a lot of travel stitching. But understand, the bigger that you make this, the simpler that you make it, uh, the easier it's going to be. So don't be afraid of this design. It's definitely going to give you a lot of bang for your buck and teach you loads about free motion quilting and controlling your stitches. Having that control is so important. So my name is Leah Day, and thank you for watching this video from the Free Motion Quilting Project. We have hundreds of videos there at freemotionproject.com ready for you to watch and learn from, be inspired by, and then go quilt on your own quilts. So definitely check out freemotionproject.com and find lots of more designs to watch and enjoy. Also check out leahday.com where we have an online quilt shop dedicated to carrying all of the tools and supplies for free motion quilting on your home sewing machine. If you're looking for something that will make this easier, like gloves that will give you more control over uh, moving your quilt sandwich around, definitely check out our quilt shop and give us some support because this is what fuels the Free Motion Quilting Project and all of the free videos I put up every single week. So we appreciate your support and until next time, let's go quilt.